This tutorial is at a request of a viewer six days later, or six day later, uh, and he wants to know how we can set it up so that when a door doesn't open when you get close to it, but it opens when you touch it, and he wants it to be double swinging doors. So let's get into that. Let me open up Blender here. And I'm going to open up a file I've already created just to save us some time. It's just basically a plane with a sphere player that moves back and forth. Um, and I've already gone over previous tutorials on how to create a player and everything like that, so we're not going over that in this tutorial. We're just going to create the doors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mesh. I'm going to add a cube. And I'm going to scale it on the y-axis and make it flat like so. And I'm going to scale it on the uh, x-axis a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to grab it, move it right like that. So now you can see that's going to be one of our doors. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. I'm going to left click right there. That moves our, our 3D cursor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose under our edit window, which is F9. It's this little square here. Center cursor. And that moves the center of that cube to where I had that cursor at. Now I'm going to hit Shift D to clone the door. And I'm going to hit X so it stays on the X axis. And I'm going to move it to right about there. I'm going to hit R to rotate, Z so it stays on the Z axis. I'm going to hold down Control so I can turn it 180 degrees, just like so. I'm going to move it a little bit closer right here so it's uh, lined up. So I'm going to choose G for grab and X, and I'm going to move it so the two doors are just like that. So now we've got two doors. If I hit P over here, you can see I just, well, I kind of bounce through it there. It's because I can, I can add more... Uh, a boundaries for the door so that doesn't happen but you can see the doors don't move. What I'm going to add now is I'm going to go to our logic editor and I have one of the doors clicked. Well, before we do this, let's add some animation to the door. Uh, we're right now we're at frame one, says so right there. I'm going to hit I and I'm going to choose rotation. We set a keyframe for rotation. I'm going to go up 20 frames, we're at fr frame 21 now. I'm going to hit R and Z to rotate on the Z axis. I'm going to rotate it so it's a little wider than, than 90 degrees. Then I'll hit I to lock in a keyframe there. So now I, you can see as I go through the keyframes, it goes like it's a swinging door. Uh, I'm going to do the same for this door over here. I'm going to hit R, well, I'm sorry, I'm going to hit I to add a keyframe for rotation. I'm going to go up to frame 21. I'm going to hit R again and I'm going to rotate it on the z-axis, a little wider than uh, 90 degrees, but you can make it whatever degrees you want. And then I'll hit I and add a keyframe there. And now you can see our swinging doors swing open by going up and down in frames. Now we go into the logic editor. I have one of the doors selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go add, add, add. I'm going to add a sensor, controller, and actuator. And I'm going to choose collision. I'm going to connect these. And I'm going to change this from motion to IPO, which is our animation. And I'm going to choose, uh, for now I'll choose play. And I'm going to do uh, from frame 1 ending at frame 21. Now we have to tell it what to collide with. And we got to add a something with a property here or a material. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose our player. And I'm going to add a property here. And I'm just going to call him player. I'm going to once again click back on our door here. And I'm going to say, so when the door has a collision with property of player, which is our player, it's going to play that animation. So we've got one of our doors down. I'm going to hit P up here. And you can see when I come up and touch it, it swings open. I'm going to do the same thing for this. Add, add, add. Change this to collision. Make the property player. I'm going to hit motion and change that to IPO. And change the end frame to 21. I'm going to connect all three of these. And now, when I come up here and hit P to play, you can see I push the doors open. Now they stay opened. If you want them to close right away, we change this play to flipper. We'll choose the same for the other door, play to flipper. Now, it will open while I'm touching them, but close as soon as I'm not touching them. So I'm going to do that, and you can see the doors close right away. And the doors kind of push me around a little bit. I can help fix that a little bit by turning my mass up. Higher the mass, basically, the heavier I am, to put simply. But you can see I can push those doors open. Now, doing it this way, um, the doors only open the one way. And you see they're still pushing me around a little bit. But 
Once again, that's something you can tweak in the settings here. But if I go through, when I come back, you can see they still swing that way and they're not going to really let me through. They're going to push me around. That's just something we're going to have to play with. Maybe I'll come up with in a later tutorial. But that's the basics, which is basically what this tutorial is for, to give you the basics of making swinging doors to open, not when you get close to them, but when you actually touch them, so as if you're pushing swinging doors. There you go. Uh, thank you for asking the question six day later, and I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I hope that I can make more for you guys in the future. So keep watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.